You're welcome to the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. It's the 28th of August 2024 and we're looking at a topic that says personal devotion. Personal devotion. What about the personal devotion? We'll find out just after we've prayed. King of Glory, we say thank you for life and the privilege to study your word and the notes of your son to us this day. Our Father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adijaya Deboe, we ask that you teach us yourself and help us indeed to have the required personal devotion with you, that we may know you more and that we may indeed carry your presence with us everywhere we go. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You're welcome again. It's the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. And we're looking at a topic that says personal devotion. Now, uh, memory verse is taken from Psalm 42, verse 1. Psalm 42, verse 1 says, As the heart panted after the water broke, so panted my soul after thee, O God. You know, that's the, the King James Version. The New King James says, As the deer panted after the water brooks, so pants my heart after you, O Lord. Now, the heart or the day is, is an animal that, of course, you know, would go to the brook to drink water. And the psalmist here is saying, as the day pants for the water brooks, and I've actually heard an analogy that described that, you know, there's really when they are panting for water, it's not just out of thirst. Sometimes it is even for survival because after they run to the brook and they drink water, um, it then cleanses, it stops them from giving off the, a smell that allows predators to trace them. Well, I mean, I've not checked this personally, but I've heard someone say that that's how important it is for them to run to the water to drink so they can diffuse the smell of, of, their, of, pre, of, of themselves that makes predators to trace them. So the psalmist here is saying that as the day is panting for water, seeking it as a lifesaver of some sort. That is how he pants to, that's how he so pants for God. And really, God described the writer of this psalm as someone who was after his own heart. And I'm sure you want to be described as someone after God's heart as well. So it is required of us indeed to pant after God, to seek after him. And it's a good thing that he already, anyway, is waiting. He actually, as a matter of fact, he is the first person to seek us out. He, because while we are yet sinners, he sent his son to die for our sins. He was the first person to reach out to us in love. So we can only just do so much by seeking after him ourselves. Now, our Bible reading is taken from Psalm 63, verse 1 to 8. Psalm 63, verse 1 to 8. Um, it, it's quite an interesting read and I'd like us to stick with me even as I read quickly through it in the New King James Version. O oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. So what a beautiful thing to write about the Lord God Almighty. The psalmist here describing, that's David by the way, King David, describing how he longs for God, how he, how he studies, how, how he seeks to know him more, and how he, he meditates on God even while on his bed. The Lord, of course, would love such a person especially and no little wonder God described him as a man after his own heart. Now Father and the Lord is saying that you know writing on the scriptures that we've just read that there's no way you can get to know someone 
in a group. You can, yeah, you can get to know the person just a little, but if you really want to get to know someone, it has to be personal. And from the scriptures that we've read, the Bible reading, the memory verse, we saw how personal that the psalmist has taken his walk with God. And that is what uh, we have been enjoined to as well inculcate today. Because that's really the only way we can get to know God. Yes, you can attend Bible studies and prayer meetings. Yes, God will move and reveal himself. But he deals with us individually. And the best way to get to know him, while you must not forsake the assembly of other believers, you must raise an altar, a personal altar of devotion unto God. A place and time where you repeatedly and consistently meet with the Almighty God in prayers and in study of the Word, where there can be a two-way communication between Him and him, and you and the Lord, and you will then begin to learn a lot more about Him. You won't just know of Him like the Israelites did. Uh, you, would know, you would know Him as, you would know His ways as Moses, as Moses did, as, as Scripture describes. So, and again, we could just take note of Revelation 3.20, Revelation 3.20, where the Lord Jesus Christ was saying, though he was speaking to the entire church, but he was personalizing it when he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and eat with me. Of course, this also covers our sisters. You see, it's, it's a personal relationship the Lord Jesus Christ is seeking and we can only get to enjoy this in a personal devotion with him okay and our father and lord is an example for example during holy ghost services when the lord would say through him there is someone here tonight who and then the word of knowledge of wisdom will come forth and more they usually more than one person will claim it and they would experience you know the miracle however the lord personalizes it when he's bringing it forth because he's, he, he's the lord who likes to deal with us on individual basis now to build this personal connection with god i've said you must raise a personal altar and you must consistently let the fire on the altar burn how do, how do you do this by by consistently studying the word and praying meditating on the word and praying not just prayers of lord i need this i need that but prayers as led by the spirit of god that will truly touch the heart of god that will come in worship and honor to him and that way you will begin to learn a lot it will teach you a lot it will reveal things to you that you you haven't even wouldn't be able to have imagined yourself you know i heard someone give the analogy that if that that you know when you're taking in milk milk is processed food from someone so like children infants now when they suck milk from their mothers the milk is coming from what the mother has eaten so when so the word of god coming from pastors or apostles or preachers are pretty much like milk because they've internalized and digested it and that is coming to you it's good for you to grow with it however you need to be able to crunch your own bones and have your own revelations you know that the lord will give to you and even when you've received teachings from the pulpit like the Berean christians you need to go back and then cross-check what you've learned with the, from with, against the word, and you would even see that the Holy Spirit will teach you a lot more. And of course, um, your altar is not a place where you had mentioned earlier, where you just come to start asking him to fight your enemies, or where you have a, a long list of things, you, of shop, a shopping list. Yes, you can come and ask him. He says, ask and I shall give unto you. However, beyond that, it should be a place where you are yearning and your prayer is that I may know you and the fellowship of your suffering, you know. And of course, he would heed such prayers and reveal himself unto you. My reflection to us is, how is your personal relationship with God? How are you faring in your personal relationship with God? If it, you know you're not faring too well, it is the time for you to commit to reinstating your prayer altar and your study altar the open heavens devotional is a great tool to guide you even in in personal study you know and i pray that as we commit to 
to lighten up the fire in our altars again to seek his face we will find him we will know him more and by so doing he will do even more exploits through us in jesus name thank you so much for listening and god bless you <music>